I remember my first day uh, coming to Stanford. I felt a freedom and a contentment. I just knew I was in the right place for me. And I was, I was as happy probably as I've ever been. I reveled in it. I was so lucky to be there. I remember the thrill of getting on the train. At that time, it was called the Lark. I wasn't scared. There was just a great deal of anticipation and excitement. Got off the Palo Alto station, and they escorted us out to the quad. Well, I was a self-conscious 18-year-old. So all these other kids, they all looked very impressive. I was just a wide-eyed kid at Stanford. I remember walking around campus, and it was a spring quarter, so I just remember the orange blossoms in the valley it just made the air smell so fragrant. It was just like a dream, almost. I spent so much time at Stanford finding my way. I needed to find my way. I'd left home, and I was getting a big world, and, and I needed something to hang my life on, and I needed the perception of what kind of a place this was I lived in and you know my own view of the whole world that would help me guide myself through life. And I found that at Stanford in my own awkward, bumbling quest through the place. It seemed like we had so much time, and I don't know how we did it. I don't know how we did all the things that we did, and went to all these classes, and wrote papers, and yet we had time to stay up until two in the morning discussing the world's problems, and, and I know we solved half of them while we were there. After the first lecture, everyone was stunned and didn't know what to do, and they just ended up clapping because he was just so amazing and just lectured so passionately. It was the first class where we really just talked about and discussed different points of view and, and had a ton of reading, but kind of got through it and studied for the final until five in the morning, and it was just an amazing class. I think I always surprise them when I say, yes, I'm very proud that I went to the Olympics. Yes, I'm very proud that I represented the United States, but I'm actually prouder of representing Stanford. If you were at the Rose Bowl that day and you had a pulse, the hair on the back of your neck was standing on end, your body was covered with goosebumps, and your heart was racing. Whenever I think of that moment, whenever I think of what Stanford means to me, I am thrilled over and over again. To reach that point where you're surrounded with talented, humorous, and wonderful fellow students is a magical experience. Stanford did give me confidence. It taught me to accept responsibilities. The most valuable thing I think I've taken with me is a training in how to think. I think as a result of going there, so many doors have been opened for me. I felt I could run with any pack. I enjoyed the feeling of family that you had at the farm. Some of those people are some of my best friends, still. We can relate today as we related then. Some of these relationships are lasting forever. It's just a feeling of family, and the family continues to grow. Stanford presents a challenge as a student, as a person. That challenge is something that I've continued to seek throughout my life. It's probably the thing in my life I'm the most proud of, having graduated from Stanford.
it gently allowed me to make the transition from being someone lost in the world to being someone found in the world. As we pass the torch on, the torch is in extremely capable hands. In my heart of hearts, Stanford's the greatest university in the world. It just is.